Yo, yo, what's happening, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. So, starter packs. Super funny meme that can apply to pretty much everything, and I'm glad these exist. But what about fashion starter packs? Well, spoiler alert, they suck. But also, they are a necessity, so that is why in this video we are going to talk about starter packs, how they relate to you, and also why they both suck, and is also a really good thing. So let's start off by addressing everything about why they suck, basically me complaining and roasting myself, but also how you guys can learn from my mistakes and how it can improve your overall style. And also I would like to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Rose Gold and Black. I'll talk about them later on in this video. So the first reason why fashion starter packs suck is because you can end up looking like everyone else that has some sort of interest in fashion. And that's a lot of people. So if everyone starts to wear the same type of outfit, it starts to lose its potency on how fly it is in the community and how you feel whenever you rock that aesthetic. And plus, if everyone wore the same exact starter fit, then that just becomes the norm, which equates to a lack of taste and a lack of taste leads to a lack of personal style. Now, let me explain before you guys go in on me. Johnny, you don't know what you're talking about. You dress like a 14 year old. Blah, 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 blah. First off, shut up. Second, I dress like a 13 year old, get your facts straight. So this starter pack fit that you guys always see online, I like to think of it like the card part of greed. A ton of players use this card and just have to explain what it does. I mean, there's only three words on its effect. But anyways, nevertheless, I shall do the same. And so I play the bad boy look. By playing this card, this is gonna get you a ton of women and it consists of a leather jacket, a Henley or a white t-shirt, skinny black denim, white sneakers or boots. It's always dropped online by the likes of many YouTubers and for good reason. The fit is actually pretty fly. It's a classic fit, it's never gonna get old. And honestly, if you just walk out in the general public, a lot of people are gonna see this outfit as really, really fly. Not too many people dress like this, especially where I'm from in Albuquerque, nobody dresses like this. But if you guys go on social media or that free event mastermind, you're gonna see this outfit everywhere. And then you're gonna know exactly how it feels like to look like everyone else. You guys remember streetwear in 2016 and 2017? Well, if you guys don't, I will play the Jerry Boy look. This card allows the user to worship Jerry Lorenzo as a god and copy his exact outfits and ignore everything else. A typical Jerry look back then was a flannel, a hoodie, distressed zipper denim, and the classic most overplayed boot of all time, the Chelsea boot. You know, it was actually a really good fit at the time, but now it's been so overdone to the point that people just look down upon anyone that wears Chelsea boots, even though it's a great classic silhouette. Because if a lot of people wear the same exact outfit or the same exact piece, then you lose the exclusivity that a lot of people seek. And that's the very reason why hype culture exists. If everyone was able to pick up an item from a drop, then it wouldn't mean as much or even feel the same as taking a W on the sneakers app. It's exactly why the Yeezy V2s have no meaning to anyone anymore. Like, come on, there's so many colorways and so many of them that look exactly the same that I've lost track of what the colorways are. I can't even name them. So that's the first reason why it sucks. It just shows a lack of personal style, especially when people stay complacent and don't ever try to refine it over time. Now, the next reason is that it's so easy to ride the hype train. Fast fashion, a good and a bad thing for its existence. Because there's such a high demand for certain looks, fast fashion brands come through with mimics that look almost exactly the same as the original piece and at an affordable price, which is actually really good. But since fast fashion is so cheap, a ton of people ride that wave. And that's why you see trends come and go. Super high demand, fast fashion mimics the look, people ride the wave, and then it falls and then a new trend starts coming through. And it's just a never ending cycle in the street where people just keep riding them waves. Body wave. Oh. Like whenever you see an H&M, just stand outside of it. You'll see that every guy walking in and out, they look pretty much the same, which is fine if you guys don't care about fashion, but why are you watching this video then? If you're watching this video, I'm sure you guys care a little bit about fashion. And so because of that, younger kids' styles now can be defined as the riding the wave aesthetic. Which, if we go back to the first reason I talked about earlier, that just equates to a lack of personal style. And honestly, I think those are the only reasons why fashion starter packs suck. But truthfully, there is only one good aspect of fashion starter packs, and I definitely think it outweighs all the bad. So let's talk about it. So the only good reason why these starter packs are great and beneficial is because it's a nice gateway into fashion and the culture that lies behind it. Without all these aesthetics and their memorable outfits, maybe fashion wouldn't be that big. Designs would probably be horrible. And I would would definitely be out of a job. So I like to think of all these fashion starter packs as like the bread ones. The gateway drug to streetwear and all the history and culture behind this one sneaker. Jordan, hype, celebrity fits. And once you pick up a sneaker like this, your appreciation develops for all that this represents. Or you could think of it like the Honda Civic, my first car. Cheap, 
reliable, easy to work on, fun even though it's not fast at all, and VTEC. Like a lot of people, this is the car that probably got a lot of people into car culture. So what I'm saying is that fashion starter packs do serve a purpose. They get people into fashion and it's a great start whenever you're getting into a new aesthetic. Like for me, whenever I got super into streetwear, zipper denim was it. Zipper denim, checkered vans, long line tees, the ultra boost, this is what got me heavily into streetwear. And now me with tech wear, I'm such a beginner at this aesthetic, but following the standard parka, cargo pants, and Akron Prestos with the sling bag, it's what first got me into this aesthetic. Now that I have more experience with it, it's starting to refine and mature a little bit, but nevertheless, if a starter pack never existed, I probably wouldn't have gone into this aesthetic. Because like with everything, we all start somewhere, and over time, you can refine it and mature it. And in my opinion, this is the only pro. But this alone is what outweighs all the cons of fashion starter packs. It's a great start, a gateway to a whole new community. And if you really think about it, the more people that are into fashion, the more competition there is. And the more competition there is, the more it pushes you and the designers to create art. I know you're probably thinking, Johnny, it's just clothes. You're right. It is just clothes. It's just fabrics on your body. But clothes and fashion can build a serious amount of confidence and having your own style expresses who you are as a person and it's a great creative outlet for a lot of guys and gals. Like there are times when I'm just chilling at home working and editing all that. If I'm just wearing sweats and a hoodie, my hair isn't done, I look like shit, then I just feel like shit and then my videos don't turn out well. So that is why even working from home, I get dressed because I'm all about this mindset on if you look good, you feel good and because you feel good, you're gonna perform better. And that's just the power that clothes have on you and why I love fashion so much and why I'm into it, why I have a channel. And I know this is getting deep. We're talking about fashion starter packs here, but nevertheless, if nobody was into fashion, starter packs wouldn't exist and there wouldn't be a community. And because of the streetwear community, the menswear community, I wouldn't be who I am today. Jeez, man, we're talking fashion starter packs and I'm talking about how fashion made me as a person. But anyways, if you guys are new to fashion, or even if you guys have some experience with it, I wanna to talk to you guys about the sponsor of today's video, Rose Gold and Black. So, Rose Gold and Black has been a sponsor for this channel for a while now, and they make super clean jewelry and accessories for men. And as you guys know, accessories are a great way to differentiate yourself from a lot of guys out there, whether it be beaded bracelets or necklaces. Rose Gold and Black has your back when it comes to composing great outfits. Now for me, I cannot walk out the door without something on my wrist. And almost all the time, it is a bracelet from Rolls Gold and Black. My favorite one is this red tiger eye bracelet. It adds a nice bit of color to the fit and also this feather necklace is my jam. I've been wearing this a ton lately and I just wear it whenever I'm wearing simple fits. Like right now I'm just wearing a crew neck. If I took this off, it would just look plain and boring. But throwing this on, just it just completes the outfit. If you guys click the link in the description, it's going to take you guys to my special page where a ton of their items are discounted by 20%. And also they have an additional sale going on. I don't know how long it's gonna last. But if you guys use the code HOLIDAY19, it's gonna give you an additional 15% off your order. So go ahead and check them out guys, just to be transparent. I do not make any commission off any of you guys' purchases, but if you guys do make a purchase, it does help me out in the long run, and I truly appreciate it if you guys do. And I appreciate all you guys in general for supporting the channel. And once again, thank you Rolls Golden Black for sponsoring this video. All right, fellas, if you guys made it this far, man, this was a long video. How about you guys uh, comment, comment Darth Maul so I know who the real MVPs are. And I really do hope this video gives you guys some perspective and some appreciation for all the things that have happened in men's fashion. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Comment down a Darth Maul for the YouTube algorithm. Please, I need followers. <laughs> and also, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at FlyWithJohnnyTie. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. To all my people that celebrate the Lunar New Year, Sunny and Firelock. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free. I'm out, bro. Peace. Oh, hi, guys. So I'm editing the video right now. It's at, it's at 8 minutes and 45 seconds. And, you know, I'm trying to hit that 10 minute mark because uh, your boy's poor and your boy's a sellout. So, um, yeah. How are you guys doing? Uh, did you guys comment down uh, Darth Maul yet? Or, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we're just going to wait here until we hit the, the 10 minute mark. Yeah, I'm editing this video right now. It's like, what? It's like 2 a.m. I don't know why I do this to myself. I guess I hate myself. Um, I'm going to New York tomorrow. So I'll kick it with my boy Christian, some other friends. How's you guys' New Year going? Good? Good? All right, cool, 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 cool. That's good, that's good.